There's a few of them. Maurice, it's me. Ah, yes. My new subcontractor. You have something to report? Celestine Phoenix is ashes, like you asked. Wonderful. Your reward has been transferred. And in case you are interested, uh, I have another warrant for a major drug dealer who sold substandard dioxin and made thousands brain dead. Maurice, I have to ask, why don't you take them out yourself? I thought that was your primary function. It's just uh, that I have uh, so much to do. You would not believe how overwhelmingly busy I've been out here without backup. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't. Well, there is a drug dealer on the run, and the credits are waiting for you. It's up to you if you wish to fulfill the task. The name of the shady individual in question is Fabian Achal. I have uploaded his coordinates to your onboard computer. Okay, I'll check it out. I'm not promising anything, Maurice.
registry for work for this much. Carly? Hey, fancy that. Pretty crazy coincidence, right? Adam, what are you doing here? I just happen to be in the area. I'm as amazed as you are. Really? You, uh, you can use wormholes? Now that is unusual. I, I can detect and open up wormholes. It's G&B technology they lent me to complete my tasks. From G&B? Why have I never heard of this before? And where do these wormholes lead to? Standard G&B equipment. It's just not for everybody. That's enough questions, Adam. I really don't have to explain myself to you. All right. I'm just curious is all. Well, <laughs> you know what they say about curiosity. Look, uh, I've got a lot of stuff to do. At this rate, I'm sure we'll meet again. I think I should inform you. Most wormholes in this part of the cluster lead to the Okar homeworlds. I cannot imagine that G&B would have authorized this. To the Okar homeworlds? Hive, do you think this really is G&B tech like she said? The wormholes are a byproduct of Okar mining created while excavating the highly volatile crystal energy source, which the Okar call the Ridium Energy. In simple terms, the energy crystal signatures released generate a wormhole's basic physics. Over time, the Okar developed a resonance to manipulate the wormhole's stability, allowing safe and fast passage. The main product, Viridian Energy, is primarily used to power the internal infrastructure. For G&B to possess this technology is possible, but for them to use it would be a violation of the So Carly is definitely up to something. Mystery deepens. Good to see you again. Guess what? Since our last haul, I've gained a few more stripes in the Coalition. You're talking to a big mover in the clan. So what are you now? Concierge? Is that a colonial military rank or are you pulling my leg? No, I'm a counselor now, overseeing raids on hostile clans. Uh-huh. So does that mean you got something else for me? There's an abandoned outlaw outpost, which the Coalition would like to occupy. If you could help... I might be inclined. There's one small problem. The place is infested with gray goose swarms. We could lure them away, so someone has to destroy them. If I remember correctly, destroying them is a valid type of suicide. There is a way. Here, take these highly advanced damage limiters. When a swarm explodes, quickly use the limiters to crank up your defenses. Damage limiters? Makes sense. I'll try it out. Hey, it's appreciated, man. What you're doing, it's really great. Uh, right. No problem, Alec.
We are entering an area of concentrated outlaw activity. Higher risks yield richer rewards. Just what I need. Down one. Roslin, you're back. With the data on ice clingers as I requested, hopefully. Yes, but like you said, it was quite hard to spot. But you are a clone. You have all the time in the universe. I am indeed a clone. But not forever. Ah, that almost answers my next question. Would you prefer to live indefinitely as a clone with infinite short-term lifespans? or have a limited human life with a normal average lifespan of 120 years. Huh. As irrational as it sounds, I would prefer a normal lifespan. I see. 
And I think it is rather irrational, yes. But what I think is of no significance. I am sorry. Let us return to the tasks at hand. Please. I am seeking a sample of the Sapuricum Cometa, or better known as the Asteroid Crawler. You may have already encountered this timid species on their natural habitat, or asteroids. Oh, maybe I've seen them before. I really hadn't given it much thought. Shoot some ore asteroids and you may be lucky enough to release an asteroid crawler after a few attempts. You must follow it immediately before it flees to another asteroid and escapes. Should be easy enough. Such optimism. May it help you with your task. Biologists are such a different breed from the type of scientists which designed me.
Marley. You again? What's up, Adam? I think I've figured out what you're all about. The wormhole, Viridian energy. Okay. Well, maybe I figured you out, too. Saying you're a scientist when you're clearly fleet trained. Right. Still, maybe not what you think, Carly. If only you had paid some interest earlier. What are you doing in the Okar homeworlds, Carly? I sometimes scout for resources. No one sees me. No big deal. What are you gonna do? Report me? Nobody needs unnecessary enemies out here, Carly. I think you realize that, too. Yeah. We take what help we can get in this cold place. Speaking of which, how about doing me another favor? It depends what it is. Some collector drones were dispatched before they were fully charged. Now they've gone offline and are floating around here somewhere. Same procedure as last time? You need cover? No, this one you can do solo. Just find the drones and activate them. They're not as complicated as the mining lasers. I'm needed elsewhere right now. Get the job done. I'll see you later. All good? Yeah, we're good, Carly. See you when you're finished. more to Carly than she's letting on. How she is able to use those wormholes and explore Okar territories undetected is highly inconceivable. Still, little fella, this won't hurt.
was the last one. Carly, drones are alive and kicking. They are? Great, thank you. Come and see me and I'll give you some provisions. Sure thing.
counted and deposited. I have a bad feeling about this place. You should be apprehensive. As we progress, we are likely to encounter more hostile regions and stronger opponents. Tell me this will all be worth it. We are heading somewhere. This will all be worth it. We are heading somewhere. going on here? It was only a matter of time before their illegal cloning venture was uncovered. The colonial authorities apprehended them during a raid. They were resigned to see out their days on a penal base. But there was one in the High Command with different plans for them. Colonial Fleet Admiral Kryn Gork. He offered amnesty in return for their cooperation on a covert project. He needed Seth's facilities, and Adam's expertise for decrypting the Okar genome, and he wanted it done in secret. The offer was preferable to a prison moon. I had another vision. Maybe more clues. There was a high-ranking colonial commander. Do you recall the name? He was an admiral, by the name of Gork. Yes. 
Kringork is a rather powerful figure in the fleet. Okay, so the plot thickens. What's going on? The ship has been immobilized and is being pulled out of hyperspace. Adam, I found you again. Seth, 
Wait, I'm beginning to recollect. Oh, really? Good for you. So what is your plan? Where are you going? I don't know exactly. I have coordinates, that's all. I'm trying to find some answers. Believe me, I want to know what this is all about just as much as you do. Wait, interesting. Coordinates. into a meat bag. Oh, Adam, what have you done? I'll let you go for now. Try not to cross me again, clone. Well, that was a bizarre conversation. What does it mean? It appears that you have some history with this individual. Perhaps there is some unfinished business. But we have our mission to fulfill. Shall we carry on? Or theorize an endless name? Rosslyn succeeded in decrypting the Okar genome. The Admiral was satisfied with the work they had done. Now he could progress to the next stage of his plans. Using the decrypted genome, he wanted to create a brigade of Okar clones to incite fresh conflict between the races. With a new war, he could finally defeat the Okar and establish colonial supremacy in the cluster. The Admiral offered them a part in his scheme, with all its privileges for their ongoing cooperation. Seth Nobu accepted the offer. Adam Rosslyn would not stand for reviving a war. He refused to take any part in it. But the Admiral had more crude methods of persuasion, injecting Rosslyn with a controlled cytotoxin. Rosslyn was given no choice but to comply. Nobu made no objection. His interests were clear. I saw that Admiral again. Another piece of the puzzle. My original was forced to work on an illegal cloning program. He refused out of principle. So Adam Roslin did not carry out the task. It seems they put him in a compromising position. Poison him. That's where I remember him to be. Flashbacks, like scraps of me, are difficult for me to understand. I dwell more in the interconnectedness of things. of the Belter Grades tidied of scum. Yeah, okay. Let's move on.
an interesting life form. What is it? Curiously, I have no data about it. This is the furthest we have yet advanced. We need to make a foothold here to ensure our continued progress. I don't plan on going backwards. Onwards and upwards. That's the spirit. is bad.
Betrayed by Seth Nobu. Adam Rosslin worked under guard in his captor's laboratory. The cytotoxin was killing him slowly. The Admiral held the antidote. Rosslin's only options were work or die. But he devised his own solution to the problem. Copying all incriminating data and destroying the research, he made his move. He needed to find a cure. So he fled to somewhere he had worked before. A secret lab in the demilitarized zone. Another memory came to me. I saw Adam Rosslin's escape. So he did not succumb to the poison? He was suffering from it, at least. He made it to a hidden lab. Our destination, perhaps. We are near to discovering that. The coordinates point to a system only one sector away. The whole story's within our reach. Let's get this over with. Intercepted. forever but we're closer i can feel it am i right the answer is in the affirmative although i can unfortunately offer no further details at this moment a great load of help you've been i try my best although it is impossible to please everybody Approximate an area of origin, but my sensors detect nothing.
Eliminate him quickly before he does more damage. No need to tell me. Counted and deposited. Sporadic interference. The sensation of limited sensor range is not an enjoyable one. Hmm. This could be a sticky situation here. After a painful voyage, Adam Rosslyn finally reached the secret lab. His DNA code was recognized by the defense system. To his shock, the entire facility had been made unusable. Time was running out. But there were other cloning facilities. Carriers, abandoned bases, scattered throughout the demilitarized zone too far to reach. Remotely, he brought one of them back online, initiating an exploit protocol. If the plan worked, it would bring him a body replacement. In his fever, he made mistakes, but the wheels were set in motion. In the meantime, the cryo chamber would halt the cytotoxin's progress. A long, uncertain sleep.
We have reached our destination. Our mysterious friend has joined us. She must have followed us. Hey there, you're the first clone to have made it. What are you doing here? What is this place? I'm not sure yet. Let's fly in closer and see. Seth Nobu is here. It seems a few people have been waiting for me to complete this mission. What's this all about? I've guessed what this place is. Have you? The original Adam Rosslin's hideout. It took you long enough to get here. Why, Nobu? Why can't you just leave the past be? It's Adam Rosslin I want, not you. There's a matter to be settled and you play no part anymore. I have run a diagnostic of the facility defenses. The entrance is DNA coded to your specific sequence. Okay, so only I can open the gates. This must be part of Rosalind's plan. But what about these guys? You must be unaccompanied for entrance to be granted. The entire facility is booby-trapped against any attempted breach. You won't get in, Nobu. Time for you to drop your grudge. Listen, you brainless clone. I'm here for revenge, and that's what I'm gonna get. Stand aside, Nobu. You've done enough damage. Dinara? Oh, Dinara. So you were the mystery helper. You should never have gotten involved. Your brother became something quite different from the man you knew. These clones are no substitute. My brother is in there, Nobu, and I intend to rescue him. Dinara? Rosslyn's sister. Now things are starting to make sense. Wait, what is she doing? Dinara, wait! Nobu has technical support. She is heading straight into a trap. No! She brought it on herself. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to finish with an old friend. Seth, you've done enough. You don't get the right to use my name, meatbag. Just die! We gotta prevent him from getting inside. He will be unable to enter the facility without the proper DNA sequence. Just take care of his support first. This was only the vanguard. Prepare yourself for more. Still trying to process that Dinero was my original sister. Why didn't she reveal herself to me? Saving Adam Rosalind was her primary objective. It is likely she could not allow herself to become emotionally attached to the multiple clones she was supporting. Did she see anything of her brother and me? Never know now. Place anyway. An 
abandoned colonial research station from the war, made unusable when it was decommissioned, but some of the systems are still intact. You could activate some of the turrets if you get close enough. That would help. and match, as the old Earth expression goes. You're still alive? Tell me how to get in! I won't be sharing that information. I'll find a way in without you. Surely exhaust a supply of fighters soon. I hope you're right. This can't go on forever. Insane! How did Seth get all these outlaws on his side? They were undoubtedly bought. of hostile. Can't you help? Only in an advisory. Say prompt to the
the former flag. Left hand wing. Nah, forget it. that. You did well. I register no further jump signatures. I just hope Seth didn't already gain access. My scanners indicate that he is still alive and near the entrance. All right. Let's end this once and for all. by the defense system. He was still alive, barely. I had so many questions, but didn't know where to start. He fixed me with his gaze, and then he laughed, mocked me. He seemed crazed, rabid with pain. In that moment, I didn't know whether to hate him or feel compassion for him. I had to make a decision. In the end, I realized that to start the next chapter of my story, his story had to end. With Nobu dead, my DNA was validated by the system. I was led to the lab. There he was, Adam Rosslyn, my original, waking from stasis. We looked at each other for a long time. It was a moment of reckoning. Then we talked for hours. Rosslyn was filled with remorse, heavy with regret. He seemed to realize that I was not just a dull clone. He admitted his plan was ill-constructed. What was expected was a body replacement. What arrived was a person, a thinking, feeling being. Me. Rosslyn had reached the end of the line, but my lifespan was limited too. The clone sequencing he initiated had left me flawed. There was a chance for me to carry on, but not Rosslyn. So he instructed me in what to do. With the missing DNA fragments, I could use the lab's transfiguration pot and make myself complete. He showed me how to localize the fragments on the star map. Out of stasis, it didn't take much longer for the cytotoxin to finally do its work kill Rosslyn. I had much to do. There were new possibilities, although time was limited in my current iteration. I needed a fresh body, and there was only one way to get it.